Hi everyone, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to be doing another blues comparison. Today we are talking about navy blue polishes from Zoya which I am so excited about because I love these guys, I love these shades. If you're just joining us here, this is a part of a series where I've been comparing all of the blue creams from Zoya. So I will link that playlist up above and also down below in the description, so don't forget to check that out if you're just joining on this blue adventure. Today we're going to be comparing these five navy polishes from Zoya, but first let's learn a little bit about each one individually and then we'll look at them compared together on swatch sticks. First up is Sailor, which Zoya released in 2013 in the Satins and Cashmere's collection. This was a fall collection, which I just think is perfect. Navy is perfect for the fall. And Sailor is described as a classic dark navy cream. Next up is Cynthia, which Zoya describes as a smoky blackened peacock teal with soft warm undertones. This one I think is such an interesting description. Blackened peacock is not one that I've heard of. And this was released in the 2011 Smoke and Mirrors fall collection. So again, another fall navy blue cream. Up next is Ryan, and Ryan is described by Zoya as a classic indigo in a flawless cream finish. It was released in Zoya's collection in the 2014 Entice and Ignite collection, which, if you're new here, is my absolute favorite fall collection from Zoya. Hadley's most recent addition to Zoya's collection that we're looking at today, this one was released in the 2017 Sophisticates collection, and is described by Zoya as a smoky midnight blue cream. The last polish that we're looking at today is Natty, and Natty is described as a smoky deep steel blue with an opaque cream finish. And this one was in my fall favorites video because this one is so perfect. It's from the Diva Designer and Gloss collection from 2012, and it is just a really nice kind of grayed out blue cream, and it's actually what's on my nails today. All right, here are our five polishes, and I have arranged them roughly from like most blue looking on the nail to kind of greener looking on the nail, but we're gonna look at each of these up close because I do think that it's really hard to tell um, just like this exactly what they look like. As an overall summary, I would say that Natty definitely appears the most blue on the nail, it's the least black, and I think it's because it looks a little bit grayed out, it has almost a little bit of white in it. Sailor and Ryan are kind of the most true blue here. Uh, Sailor does have maybe a touch bit more purple almost, uh, but they are probably the most true blue navy that you're gonna get. Uh, Ryan does look almost black on the nail. I would say it's the most, the most black looking on the nail. And then Hadley and Cynthia actually both to me have some green undertones, so we're gonna look at those in a second. All right, so here are these three. I think you can see what I mean up close here by Natty having a little bit more almost gray in it to make it definitely look more blue on the nail because it's not quite as deep as the others. Sailor does almost have a little bit of a purple undertone here, and Ryan is a kind of classic navy in that it is almost black on the nail. It's a really deep blue on the nail. Cynthia and Hadley, both like this, do look pretty deep, almost black on the nail. If I let some light shine through them, I think you can see what Zoya means by Cynthia being a blackened peacock. You can really see that teal coming through there when I let all the light in. Of course, you don't get that much light when it's on your nail, uh, on your hands. And so I think you get something much more like this. You get something in my swatch photo, for example, you probably saw it did look pretty deep on the nail and you really have to catch it in the right light to get that green undertone. Hadley, I also think, has a little bit of a green undertone if you catch it in the right light. Uh, it's definitely not as kind of blue undertoned as Natty is. It's much closer to Cynthia's undertones, much closer to the greens that are in Cynthia. All right, so that was our polishes up close. I wanna bring in a couple comparison polishes for you because I think these are really helpful to just kind of situate this group in the rest of Zoya's collection. Uh, this is Willa, and Willa is a pretty classic black cream from Zoya. And so I did wanna bring this in and just show you, for example, how blue Natty looks in comparison. And even Sailor and Ryan look pretty blue up close to Willa. You can really see that they're not true black, there's something else in there. Similarly, I think that Hadley next to Willa, you can see a little bit more of the green undertone that I was talking about, uh, but definitely Hadley does look really, really deep and looks pretty close to Willa, even up close here. Sailor and Ryan do look pretty deep and almost black on their own, but I think compared to Willa, you can see a little bit of the blue in here, and you might be able to see a little bit more of that kind of purpley undertone that I was mentioning in Sailor. It's not 
um, totally blue. It has a little bit of something else in there too. So I think Will is a really helpful comparison just to show that even if these do look a little bit black on the nail, they are definitely still blue polishes. Similarly, I did want to bring in kind of a classic blue, a medium blue. This is Sia. And I think that Sia really shows exactly how deep all of these shades are. Sia is from my medium blues group. That's kind of how I categorize that one. And I think it really just shows exactly how deep all of these navies are. All right. And then the last comparison that I wanted to bring in here is Danica because Danica is the newest deep teal from Zoya. This came out in the winter 2018 collection, the Jubilee collection. And I think Cynthia previously was kind of their take on a deep teal. Cynthia shows its color but Danica really keeps that teal color even when that light goes away and it's just on the nail. If you see swatches of Danica, Danica really does pull teal on the nail. It doesn't look black. Whereas I think Cynthia hides a little bit more, so Danica's definitely maybe has a little bit more green in it. It's a little bit brighter. Um, and I think Danica's a really beautiful polish and it's almost what I wanted Cynthia to be. <laughs> And just for comparison's sake, here is Danica up against all of the other navies. It certainly is close to fitting in this group, but I grouped it in with my teals because I felt like on the nail it pulls much closer to kind of a bluey green than it does to a navy blue. All right, so for final thoughts, I'm gonna say Natty is a must. I love Natty. It's really soft, definitely looks blue on the nails. I'm wearing it right now, and I think it's really, really perfect. I love this one. It's great for the fall, for the winter, it's wonderful. And then I would say you probably only need one of Ryan or Sailor, and honestly, my favorite, I think, I go back and forth, but I think my favorite is Sailor. Something about that almost purple undertone just works for me. I think it looks a little bit more blue on the nail than Ryan does. And I did include Ryan in my kind of go-to Zoyas because I honestly go back and forth. I love them both so much. I really like wearing a navy nail and so I don't mind having them both. And similarly, I don't know that you need both Hadley and Cynthia. I would honestly probably go with Hadley and then I would get Danica <laughs> because Danica looks truly teal on the nails. It looks truly green on the nails. So I would go with these three and then I would pick up Danica. That would be my recommendation. But let me know down below which ones you think are the best for your collection. I would love to hear which ones you've picked up, which ones you like the most. Do you have one in your collection that you keep pulling for or that you don't keep pulling for? I would love to hear it. And as always, thank you so much for joining me to talk about nail polish today. I really appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day. And if you like this video, I hope you'll stay tuned for the rest of my blues comparison series and that you will consider subscribing so you don't miss the rest of them. As always, thank you so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one.